of it. Always a blessing. Great is my boldness of speak toward you. Great is my glorying of you. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all our tribulation. Mm -hmm. In Romans chapter 5 verse 3, mm -hmm. the word of God says, now this Paul writing, uh -huh. from verse 1, he says that therefore being justified by faith, yes. we have peace with God exactly. through our Lord Jesus Christ, exactly. by whom also we, we have, have access, access. Uh -huh. by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in, in the hope, hope of, of the, the glory, glory of God. God. Wait, look at the, the, verse 3. He said, what? Not, not only so. That means it is not enough. So Paul is saying that we are rejoicing in the hope of the glory of God uh -huh, hand in hand. Hand in hand with tribulation. <laughs> but we glory in tribulations also. So where are the tribulations that you are glorying, my dear? We glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience and patience worketh experience and it ultimately worketh hope. But that, that means that in the in in the era of the apostolic fathers yes tribulation was not something they shied from let me show you this one one peter revelation chapter one do you know how john addresses the people in revelation chapter one the verse nine read it revelation chapter one verse nine he said my companion in tribulation i john i john your who brother. also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom so watch this the bible says in the book of acts chapter 14 <laughs> for we must through much tribulation enter the kingdom we must through much tribulation for we must suffer much tribulation to enter the kingdom that means Listen. the inheritance in the kingdom thrives on the matter of tribulation simple because when you are born again you are only aware of the kingdom yes now when you receive the baptism of fire which is sufferings you are now entering the kingdom so that you can inherit the kingdom and we are doing this because of jesus we are doing this because of jesus others who are doing it for righteousness sake they will just be in the kingdom <laughs> For righteousness' sake, they'll just be in the kingdom. They were doing things for righteousness' sake. They were hammering on righteousness, righteousness, righteousness. Brother, go beyond that. And let your works of righteousness be fooled by a passion for the sake of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why do we preach what we preach? Hallelujah. Probably you want trains. You want to train? Probably what you are doing is right. You think that somebody must hear this message. It's more than that. It's more than somebody hearing it. It is because Jesus is waiting on us hmm. to finish a course hmm. so that the trump of God can sound for him to do his work. So we are speeding up the coming of God. We are speeding up the coming of the day of God. That's our contribution. Hmm. It changes the entire ball game. It's not all about righteousness. Doing righteous works. The righteous acts of the saints. It's not all about that. But now you are doing righteous acts for the sake of Jesus. Jesus. You understand the contribution mm -hmm. of your life mm -hmm. to the mandate and to the purpose of Jesus. When we get this now, when we come to the judgment of nations, you now understand why Jesus stood there and said, <laughs> The judgment of the sheep and goats. No, before we get there. <laughs> before we get there. I know, I know you're just so much in a hurry to hit it. But before we get there. Yes. Now hear what Peter says. 1 Peter 1.7. That's that the trial of your faith. Uh -huh. Being much more precious uh -huh. than of gold that perishes. All right. Though it be tried with fire. Fire. Might be found. It will be found. Unto praise, unto and, praise honor and honor and glory, and glory at the appearing. At the appearing of Jesus, Jesus Christ. When you read it from the verse 3. I love it. I love the verse 3. The verse 3. 1 Peter 1 verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ mm. which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Okay. So that's born again. Yes. To an inheritance. To an inheritance. Okay. Incorruptible and undefiled. undefiled. That, and that faded not. Reserved. Reserved 
in, in heaven, heaven for you. Uh -huh. Watch this. Who are kept? We are kept by the power of God. By the power of through God. Through faith. Through faith. Unto salvation. Unto salvation. Ready to be revealed. Ready to be revealed in the last time. Hold on. That is antichrist, yes. isn't it? Yes. But we are kept by the power of God. Hmm. Ready to be revealed. Re we are ready. Equally as the antichrist is in his last time, we want this to be revealed. Hmm. We are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. <laughs> are you, re you want to escape Antichrist, but we are ready to be revealed. Hmm. There is a dimension of the salvation we have come into that, that must be shown wait in that last the time of our body. Hmm. Now, watch this in verses wherein we greatly rejoice. Do now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, mm. though it be tried with fire, mm. might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. And all of these words are very, yes, they very, very important. They carry so much weight. That means that in our present estate, yes, the church is actually going through tribulation. We are going through present tribulation for the sake of Jesus, of Jesus Christ. And it's actually in tribulation that the church grows. The church, we that are in the church gain our ranks. When you pray the Lord's Prayer, what do you pray? Hmm. The Lord's yes. is my shepherd. shepherd. I said Psalm 23. Yes. The Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. Uh -huh. I shall not want. Uh -huh. He leadeth me in path of righteousness. For what? For his name's sake. So many people are just walking in the path of righteousness for nothing's sake. But in the path of righteousness, it must be for his name's sake. That is when, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. I don't fear evil when I go through that because to me, I have immunity. There are shadows. Mm. This is not death. Mm. Actual death is ahead. Mm. You see, so just by Psalm 23, we prove that the believer must go through the valley of the shadow of death. And you will fear no evil. You will fear no evil. Because thou art with me. Just like he was with Shadrach, Meshach, and, and Abednego. In the fire. In the fire. And what the Bible says concerning the rapture, that he's come to receive us unto himself. Yes. When you read the book of Thessalonians, he says that in that day when Jesus Christ will, be, will gather us unto himself, that we may be gathered to him. So our gathering is to Jesus. Mm. Our work is to Jesus. Mm. Our acts is to Jesus. All that we do is to Jesus, is to Christ, is to Jesus. That is why we do what we do, is to Jesus, is to Christ. Mm. This is wonderful. The now we beseech you, brethren, hmm. by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. What did Jesus say? He said that in my father's house there are many mansions there. If you are not so, I will not have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. When I am done, I will come back and what? So Receive you unto myself. So that where I am, that is where you may be also. And he is descending from heaven. So that where he is, we will be also. So that you may be there also. <sighs> that now, means that the, 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 the tribulation of the church, firstly, is a matter that is ongoing. Presently. Presently is Presently ongoing. Is ongoing. And it's act, it's, the word of God likens it to a woman that is in travail. In travail. And a woman that is in travail surely will birth forth. Will birth forth. A woman in travail will surely birth forth. Pastor Obed, always a blessing.